a treasure trove of biological diversity. It is one of the 18 megadiverse countries hosting about 70 to 80 percent of the world's biodiversity. Home to more than 52,177 described species, more than half of which are found nowhere else on Earth. 491 of these are threatened. More than 1,130 terrestrial wildlife species have been recorded. Half of these are endemic, and 157 are threatened. 128 are threatened endemic species. The Philippines ranks fifth in terms of number of plant species, and half of them are endemic. The country is one of the most important centers of amphibians, and 68% of these are endemic. It is home to an astounding 576 species of birds, 195 of which are found only here and nowhere else on Earth. 126 are restricted range species, making the Philippines the fourth leading country in the world in bird endemism. There are 174 indigenous mammalian species 111 of which are endemic. Although our country has the greatest concentration of terrestrial mammalian diversity in the world, it also ranked eighth among the most threatened. The rate of discovery of new species in the Philippines is one of the highest in the world, with a total of 36 new species of herpetofauna discovered in the last 10 years. Sadly, we have yet to fully appreciate the true value of the wealth of life we have in our midst. In the rush for development, we may end up squandering nature's gifts, which makes any economic progress unsustainable. Our globally significant biodiversity is threatened by logging, habitat degradation, land conversion, over-harvesting of resources, mining, and infrastructure development. These threats result to many protected areas becoming collateral damages, due mainly to the inconsistent land uses and conflicting management objectives of the government. As a response to these threats, the government established a system of protected areas. This was supported by a landmark legal framework, the National Integrated Protected Area System, or the NIPAS Act of 1992, which facilitated the establishment of 239 protected areas. These are composed of 4.05 million hectares of terrestrial and 1.14 million hectares of marine areas. The government also addressed the challenge by prioritizing its critical conservation efforts. The identification of key biogeographic zones and key biodiversity areas, or KBAs, in 2005 was crucial in the refinement of the Philippine Biodiversity Strategy and Action Plan. An opportunity for improving biodiversity conservation in the Philippines rests under an effective management, accelerated expansion, and improved representativeness of the Terrestrial Protected Areas Network. It also requires adequate capacity on the part of the Protected Areas and Wildlife Bureau, or POWB, and a system of sustainable financing mechanism and the application of economics into the planning and management of terrestrial protected areas. Recognizing the need for long-term solutions for biodiversity conservation in the Philippines, particularly in terrestrial areas, the Philippine government is now implementing the expanding and diversifying the national system of terrestrial protected areas in the Philippines project. The project is briefly termed as the New Conservation Areas in the Philippines, or NUCAP. Through the NUCAP project, 
Other more flexible, diverse, and effective conservation models, apart from the protected areas system, will be identified, documented, and replicated. These include recognition and establishment of indigenous community conservation areas, LGU managed conservation areas, and local communities managed conservation areas. Their ability to manage these areas needs to be assessed and strengthened as well. The new cap is supported by the Global Environment Facility, or GEF, through the United Nations Development Program, or UNDP. The Department of Environment and Natural Resources, or DENR, through the POW-B, takes the lead in implementing this project. The project will run for five years, starting in 2010 until 2015. NUCAP has three key components. First, the expansion and diversification of protected areas system and recognition of new conservation areas in the Philippines. Secondly, capacity and institutional strengthening for the terrestrial protected areas system. And lastly, enhancement of financial sustainability of the terrestrial protected areas system. By 2015, through NUCAP, the Philippines' protected areas would have been expanded under new and diverse management systems, and conservation made more effective through enhanced institutional and individual cooperation of DENR and partner organizations. There are nine key terrestrial biodiversity areas, which serve as pilot sites of the project for a new type of conservation regimes. Balbalasang Balbalan National Park, Zambales Mountains, Mounts Irid Angelo and Pinuang, Polillo Group of Islands, Mounts Iglit Baco National Park, Nug As and Lantoy, Mount Nakolot, Mount Hilong Hilo, and Tawi Tawi Island. In implementing NUCAP, DENR POW-B works closely with other DENR agencies, with the National Commission for Indigenous Peoples, or NCIP, leagues of provinces, cities, and municipalities, national and local NGOs, research and academic institutions, indigenous peoples organizations, local communities and provincial governors, mayors, and local legislative bodies. There are local responsible partners at the site level who are already working in the area and with the means to provide technical inputs and co-financing for the project. The project board, represented by the government, civil society, and indigenous community provide overall policy direction to the project. Indeed, the country faces many challenges that could lead to biodiversity loss that impacts on human lives. In search for quick but unsustainable development, many amazing species have been reduced in numbers. Many ecosystems are now unable to provide adequate ecological benefits and services. There is no time to waste. There are many innovative and trailblazing efforts that can inspire Filipinos to continuously support conservation action, to take care of the remaining key biodiversity areas, and to ensure that we continue to enjoy and benefit from the country's prime conservation areas in this generation and even beyond. to